I could not believe it. We were in the middle of Oxford Street and, oh my gosh, he proposed. What a big mm. rot this is. It's just so... Oh. He proposed? Yes, yes, yes. I'm sending you the picture of the ring right now. It's so beautiful. Gosh, I'm so excited. He proposed right in the middle of... Okay, don't get it twisted. This isn't me being upset, angry or jealous. I mean, why should I be? Jennifer is one of my oldest friends and... I'm happy she's getting married, but still, why isn't it me making this call? Okay, we have a wedding to plan and I need you to do it. Mo? Hello, Mo, you there? Yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'll be coming home by Wednesday to set things in motion and I have a list of things. Typical Jenny, always sending you on errands, but hey. <laughs> It's her wedding, and she's my friend. Okay, right, right, right. So what do we want to start with? Your fruits, honey. Oh, thank you, love. Just the way you like it. One fork. Aren't you eating any? No. Breakfast was quite filling. I didn't want any. No, you're not going to bribe me. I'm not <laughs> going to eat any of this if you don't have some. Okay, fine, I'll join you. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Oh, you wanted to, you prefer watermelons, mm -hmm. don't you? I'm going to stuff you. Yeah, you're trying to cheat me off of my watermelon. I'm not the Love you. Love you too, girl. Mm. Good morning, Dad. Mom. Mm. Good morning, dear. How are you? Good. All right. What time did you come in last night, young woman? Mom, you know I had an event. So? That doesn't give a woman the right to come in at ungodly hours. I don't like this job. Can we not do this this morning? You made that very clear from the beginning, but this is my job. I love it. But I don't like the fact that you're coming so late at night. It worries me, Mo. Say something, today. Don't worry, love. Okay, just don't worry. You won't have to worry about her by the time she moves to her husband's house. <laughs> which I hope will be soon. Me too. Yeah? You plan other people's events. I think it's time we plan yours, don't you think? Have you ever thought that maybe some of us aren't as lucky as the two of you when it comes to finding love? Oh, nonsense. There's a man out there for you. All you have to do is open your eyes. I remember when I met your father. Oh, he was standing right there by the door. I've heard this story a thousand times. I'd appreciate it if you didn't recount it again, especially not today. Are you all right, Mo? I just want to be left alone. I don't want to talk about falling in love or getting married. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No. Your call 
has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record. Seriously. You call this when you want them to. thing works but uh okay let's give this a go go with the flow hi my name is Moduroti Bankole Smith but you can call me Mo so I was just wondering how does a single girl get hooked up in Lagos these days? And I'm not talking random dates or series of relationships that are leading nowhere, no. I'm talking about finding love. Real love, love that leads to marriage. The kind of love that has you at 60, still eating off the same plate and laughing at each other's jokes and has you gazing into each other's eyes as if you just met for the first time kind of love I don't think exists anymore. I mean, you think you're fine. Got a brain between your ears, homely, good conversation, hardworking and generally a good catch. Until your friend calls you and tells you she's getting married. As in no offense, but I better pass that girl by far. And don't get it twisted, I'm not beefing or anything. No, I'm not. I'm just wondering, like, where are all the good guys? Where are they? Hi! I can't believe this girl is actually getting married. You're kidding. <laughs> Jennifer Bigo is getting married. <laughs> I need to swallow that with a full drink. That's Sheju. Downright blunt and sarcastic. Sometimes to a fault, but she's fun to be with. She's lively and knows how to have a good time. Basically, she's your typical life of the party kind of girl. If you're bored, call Sheju. I hope she doesn't think it's going to be a walk in the park or something. I mean, she's getting married. This girl can't even tie her own shoelaces. Talk less of handing a man. Sheju. What? Come on, that's not fair. That's Toby, the perfect gentleman. He's caring, generous, sensitive, and as good as they come. He's the one person I can tell anything to without fear of being judged or criticized or having all my dirty laundry hung out in the open. Anyway, if you ask me, Jennifer's not that bad. Really? You have met her, right? Well, Mo, back me up here. Huh? Seriously? What? What are you up to? I actually can't believe this. People are watching this thing. I've had five hits. What are you talking about? God. You started a vlog? You're kidding. Yeah. It started a vlog, and it's actually thanks to the both of you. You, I called you, and you didn't pick up. And you, the phone was unavailable, and I needed someone to talk to. And so you started a vlog. You are so spoiled. You needed to talk to someone, so you talked to the whole world. And I did call you back. Yeah two days later and what's wrong with the vlog anyways i mean a girl needed to rent and i found an outlet oh please don't give us that jennifer's getting married i'm so upset i'm still single <laughs> i can't believe i ordered it five minutes ago and it's still not here come on you know schedule ignore her so did it really help Yes. Like I said, I actually can't believe it. Five hits. People are watching this thing. I can't... I, I don't get it. Okay, I just got us a large glass, a pitcher of margarita, so get yeah. ready. What are you trying to do? Get us... Turn tomorrow? up! There's work tomorrow now, these guys. Oh, I beg relax, Joe. Yeah. Turn, so you like what? Turn down, my guy. My guy, guinea. <laughs> <laughs> you girls can't do that. 
I expect everyone I work with to behave in a professional manner, including my ushers. This company has a reputation to keep, so you cannot, under any circumstance whatsoever, insult a guest at an event. But Ma, he was the one that started it. Are you telling me you've never heard the expression the client is always right? He's not our client. The bride and groom were our clients. You're, you're kidding me, right? Any guest at any event is a potential client. So you can't just talk to them or behave anyhow. Uh, hey. Uh, is everything okay? Yes, I'm just addressing an issue. All right, okay, guys, carry on what you're doing, okay? Great job. Bimpe. Sorry, ma. Do you know what? All of you get out. Sorry, get out of my office. Sorry, ma. Never reach internet dating, I beg. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm just about to leave the office. Okay, okay, I'll stop at the supermarket on my way home. Moderate Bank Ali Smith. Very shogunle. Oh, come <laughs> Don't be fooled by the smiles. We were more rivals than friends back in secondary school. Whatever I wanted, Mary wanted. From boys to grades, anything you can think of. It was a relief to lose her shadow after school. I can't imagine her setting her fangs into my man now. If I had one. You know, the moment I saw your back, I just knew it was you. <laughs> you haven't changed much. You apparently have. You've put on some weight. <laughs> I have? Yeah. You know, that's what happens when you have a baby. And my husband loves my shape, and he's absolutely You're crazy. You're married. <laughs> and you have a baby? The universe is definitely playing tricks on me. <laughs> So Mary finally has something I don't have. Yes, darling. <laughs> um, he's into imports and experts and, you know, he's loving, Aww. caring and generous. <laughs> We've got the cutest baby in the world. Oh, that's nice. And he's going to be three months in four days. Oh, I, I should have a picture of my son here. Um, you know, I can't believe how we used to fight over dating the same guy in school. <laughs> Cool. Silly things with our teenagers. Uh, yeah. Where's this picture? So what about you? What does your husband do? Um, it was so good seeing you. Congratulations on your baby. I'll see you around. Oh, hold on. Ah! Wait, 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 the picture. Oh, hey, Mo. Where are the groceries I asked you to buy on the way home? Did you leave them in the car? Good evening, Mom. No, I didn't. So where are they? They didn't have anything in the shop. Everything? Yes. Why didn't you check somewhere else? It didn't occur to me, Mom.
This is not me being desperate, but you never know how love will find you. The truth is, I don't believe in internet dating, but who knows? I might just meet Mr. Perfect. I mean, what harm could come from this? None, I hope. Okay, well, if you're gonna do this, just do it. Don't be chicken, just do it. Everyone does it. People find love online these days. People, normal people, they find love, they get married. <sighs> Who am I kidding? No man worth his salt wants to date a 28 year old he met on the internet. widening your options, that's all you're doing. Just widening your options. Nobody has to know, apart from the guy you're going to date. I'm actually doing this, like really, this is what it's come to. Okay, just do it. It's cool, just do it, just do it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you very much. Can't believe I just did that. is fast Yes, uh, this is Mo. Who's speaking? Oh, Leo, hi. <laughs> yes, oh, thank you. Hey, those. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, chilly. Hey, we haven't spoken in a while. Huh? I know it's unlike me to not call, but you know how hectic it can get at the banks. But for you, man, come on. You can't even pick up your phone to call someone. Yes, and uh, I can't even talk right now because I'm actually on my way out. Oh, yeah? Where are you going? Our spot? No, on a date. A date? Oh, for, for real? With, with who? Nobody you know. Look, I'll give you the gist later. I have to go. Hey, so I can't even see you today? It's our special day. And look at me keeping my hopes up. Please, Mo, please, tell me I'm not stuck with that crazy schedule girl. <laughs> you guys will have fun without me, Joe. Bye. <laughs> I know, but she... Mo? I 
Mo, right? I'm Leo. You have got to be kidding me. Of all the guys out there, I get Steve Urkel. Really? Imagine the look on Shedu's face if I showed up with a guy like this. She'll probably die of a heart attack. Oh, no way this is going to work. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong girl. It's a joke, isn't it? I saw your picture on the internet. I said you have the wrong girl. Uh, what? What is? Be like saying no a year word. Where all time you begin to go home, yeah? <laughs> What's funny now? You know what? For once, I have to agree with Shedju. It's some crazy story. Are you, Sabi? At least I found a way to escape instead of being stuck in a boring conversation. No, 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 no. Come on, Mo. The fact that the guy's a nerd doesn't mean he's going to be boring. You didn't give him a chance to get to know you. I beg, John, make out here words. You seriously need help. <laughs> of all the ways to meet a guy, online dating. Maybe that's a cry for help. You know, I thought it was worth a try. You're an events planner, for goodness sakes. You meet guys day in, day out. You could just hook up with any of them no, when it no, comes no, to No, 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 time out, time out. Come on now. Shedju, that's totally unprofessional. The girl is an event planner. You don't expect her to hook up with guys at the events she plans. Oh, please. Oh, and you. You don't think you're taking this too far? You need to chill out, man. It will come to you naturally, eh? Is it easy for everyone like it is for you? Like, I, you can go outside and pick any girl. Come on, Mo. I don't want any girl. I want one girl. <clears throat> anyway, look, we're not talking about you. We're talking about my dating life, okay? And you seriously need help. So you said a thousand times, please help me, Sheju. First of all, you need to, I don't know, go out more like this. I don't, you. You know what, ladies? I'll call it a night here. See you guys later. You were saying? First lesson. You need to see the guy's picture before you agree to a blind date. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be a blind date, then would it? Who goes on a blind date in this age of modern technology? And this is Lagos. Trust me, the men are out there. From the billionaires, who are loaded and usually good looking. But even if they aren't, who cares? And then, of course, they are the corporate guys. Those you catch in the clubs, restaurants, lounges on a Friday night. Some are married, some are not. Some are millionaires or millionaires in the making. And then, of course, we have the scrubs. And my dear, 
This is a niche where you find a lot of eligible bachelors and plenty. single girls. This, my friend, is where the game is played. And to win, you have to set your self apart. Stop doing that. But you know the stress is too short for me, and I don't like short things, so it makes me feel like. I'm desperate. Think of the dress as an attractive package for a brand new toy or a fancy gadget that has plenty of benefits to offer. Excuse me, but I'm not a toy. Figure Beach. Basically, what I'm saying is nobody's going to look in your direction if you don't have the right package on the outside. Okay, regardless of whatever you have on the inside, men are drunk. What yeah. they see, you told me a thousand times. Good, so you're paying attention. Now put a smile on your face, turn around, let's work this. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Hi. Uh, can I buy you a drink? Okay, yeah, sure. The thing is, we pour the liquid cement into any kind of shape we want it to take. If you need to alter the shape, you have to make sure that it is still in liquid form. Mm -hmm. I love this legend here. Someone told that my friend thinks that because I love it so much, I don't have time for fun. Yeah. That's why you dragged me here. Cheers. That explains a lot. He's been talking about his work for the past 30 minutes. I'm here to have some fun and meet an interesting guy, not to be talked to death. One more thing about his precious work, and I'm out of here. Believe me. Oh, wow. Uh, I think we have to take the road very soon because I have a floor plan to check tomorrow and I'm sorry. I'm going to need another drink. Okay, I'll get you one. No! No, no, no. <laughs> I'm fine. You sure? I'll get one myself. Okay. Oh, please, please. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. I know some really good real estate, though. Oh, this is my friend Mo. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm leaving. Are you coming? Would you like me to drop you home or are you stay? What's going on? What happened? I'm leaving. Do you want to stay or would you like me to drop you at home? I'll see you later. Bye. Nice to meet you. Yes, Shedu. I'm tired. Okay, yeah, 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 I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay. All right, bye. Bye, bye, bye.
do this. Okay. Hi, it's your girl Mo again. I know I've been MIA for a little while, but it's just because I've been really busy. So yes, last time I was wondering how a single girl in Lagos could get hooked and find true love. So I went and experimented, see what I could find. First thing I learned, the hard way of course, is never, ever agree to go on a date with a guy before you know what he looks like. Because trust me, you might just be shocked out of your skin. Second thing, dress comfortably. Don't wear six inch heels. Like, look good oh, make sure you look good. But my sister, you feet follow. Right now my feet are killing me. And the worst part about it is the man won't even notice the heels. Trust me, all he's interested is in up here. So yes, the first day of my experiment, I met this guy, the most boring, uninteresting man I have ever met. He went on and on and on about his job. <laughs> and just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, joking for this lagos <laughs> this guy thinks i'm a jjc i should pick up the tab huh? i bet you he's washing all the dishes in the restaurants i so walked out on him and then the adventure got even weirder of course how to put it up from under him you see how he takes the deal and loses everything yes don't you in the line of business you can't afford to be sentimental do, do you like the food yes i could really nice that's the best meal here and of course they have a order of the meals that was my very best <laughs> About mine. It was very nice. Classic. I don't think I've ever met a guy who liked the sound of his own voice this much. Between us, we said 1,500 words. Out of that 1,500 words, he said 1,450. And by then, you'd have thought I would stop, right? No. Mo keeps going on and on. You're a very beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> I'm really, really fast. 
just gonna. Are you okay? You want me to um, order for some more drinks? This is fine. Mm. say more the guy just couldn't keep his grimy hands off me how disgusting Ugh. guy pass this ball now good hey father jokes how this boy's playing today <laughs> you know what just bring out your checkbook because the flogging that my boys are going to give you today starts with the sweat even though it's easy you go back <laughs> hey tobe we don't enter oh tobe Oh, this one they glad like glad this. One of 14 years old, see profile where they give you. Why oh, this one is smiling on me? I give you both. Oh, TJ, stop, TJ. Oh, TJ, stop, stop, stop. I don't even know what match. Wait, 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 wait. I'm talking Ina, Ina. Give me something. I'm sure you've not even told this girl that you like her, Abby. You mind this fake guy? Fake guy. Guys, this is none of your business. You Shut know? up, there. They do bad guy. You know, give yourself a brain, oh. Why don't you just tell her you like her? Tell her more. 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 Tell her Tell her more. 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 Are you, are you actually sending us out of your house? Because we're telling you the truth. And I heard you now. Eh? Did they see your guy? No one. Oh, but I know they for this kind of pregnant woman, Musa. They know they go. She told me to keep us over here. Wait, why did you do like that? I beg one for you. Oh, but keep your house. Don't worry. We'll go water for our place, monkey. Yeah, if you had, you go find your own. Get out. Your house is pushing you. I'm beginning to think that maybe I am the problem. I'm the constant in all these things that you can experience. Maybe being myself just isn't enough. I don't know why you're bothering yourself, Sheju, because I'm not going. But it's going to be so much fun. I've had enough fun to last me a lifetime. I'm not interested. Okay, so you've had a couple of sour days. Are you going to give up? Look, for every 12, there's always a Judas. And I've had five Judases. No Peter, no James, no John. All thanks to you. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, after the first day at the club, I should have stopped. But no, you convinced me to go on another date, and another date, and another date. Oh, so it's my fault that the guys that you met were wrong for you. I'm just saying, maybe I shouldn't be taking relationship advice from you. Because there's something about my advice that jinxes your relationships? No. Because you can't give what you don't have. You don't have a relationship, Sheju. You go from guy to guy to guy to guy. I want something stable, you know? Love, marriage, I want a stable relationship, not flings. You're right, Mo. You know, you're not the only one that has fantasies about fairy tale relationships. But this is the real world. And in the real world, some of us take what we can get. Oh, wow. You said 
sent me a picture, remember? It's beautiful. I know. I haven't seen you in ages. Are you going to give me a hug? Oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you. You look amazing. Oh, you sure? Because I've been going through my beauty treatments and I have been harassing my makeup artist, so I must look really great. <laughs> Yeah, but ugh, I didn't know you'd hired a makeup artist already. I thought I would do that. I thought I was helping you plan the wedding. Oh, of course you are, darling, but she's brilliant. So I insisted that she must do my makeup. Well, she didn't have that much of a choice considering how much I'm paying her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only issue I'm having right now is this heat. It's not that bad. Sorry? It's crazy hot in here, even with the ACs. How do you guys cope? Uh, babe. You grew up here. Abi, which day did you go? Uh, uh I've been out of this country for eight whole years. <laughs> See this fat girl, oh. Are you going to say you've forgotten all the prep nights and dining hall dramas that we had? And all those seniors who hated you? I used to call you Royal, Royal Junior. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school abroad as well. And when I came back four years ago, I adjusted pretty easily. Well, I'm not you. You know I don't like anything stressful. Oh, right. And I like stress. Well, why else would you take on a job as an event planner? <laughs> yeah, um, great. Here, we are here to plan your wedding. Yes. So, how many guests are we expecting? Um, about a thousand. A thousand? Is that a problem? Oh, you can't handle it? No. It's not bad. I'm just surprised that you'd want to spend your special day with so many people. <laughs> you should know I don't have a choice. I'm royalty and so is he. You can't expect us to have anything less. It's going to be a carnival. Mm. Oh my goodness, you can't handle this, can you? Look, if you can't handle this, my mother knows the best event planner in this country. I just wanted you to have the privilege of organizing my wedding because, you know, well, friends and all. But like I said, if you can't handle Jennifer, this... Jennifer, I can handle it. Okay, because you know how I like things to be perfect. Now, I am taking a huge risk with your mediocre company, but hey, that's what friends are for, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Seriously, this is the person getting married and not me? I must be part of some cosmic joke. OK, uh, excellent. So, I'm going to have to work over the budget again, obviously, because of the increase in number of guests. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it by my boss, you know, sort out the numbers, and then I will get back to you, and then we can set things in motion. OK, well, like I said, Money is not an issue, yeah? As you know, I can hire royalty, and we just want to make sure that everything goes, you know, really excellent. You just make sure that you don't disappoint us, OK? <laughs> yes, Your Highness. <laughs> um, so when is Ike coming in? Oh, he should be in town with his best man in about one month. Yeah. Well, we have about three months to go, right? So it's not much of an issue. You will be surprised at how Quickly, time flies by when you're planning a wedding. Oh, well, that's why I have you, to make sure everything goes perfectly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, so I'm going to head back to my office now. And when I sort some stuff out, I'll call you with an update. No problems. <laughs> Excellent. OK, get my stuff together. Oh, you need to, you know, take me to all those places that you single ladies hang out, you know, before I tie the knot. <laughs> For what? Please. Leave all single girls alone. First your marriage. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're back. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Is he in his office? Yes, he's in your office. Excellent. What is with <laughs> Oh, sorry. Get out. Get out now. What the hell is wrong with you? Can't you keep a 
your trousers zipped? Must you sleep with everything with a skirt? <laughs> You're a married man, for God's sake. You have a beautiful wife who sings your praises all day and you want to throw that all away for, for a stupid tumble in the sack? A lot of people would do anything. They would give anything to have what you have. A forever with someone who loves them and who they can love back. And you just want to throw it away for just... For, for just her? No, I... Are you all right? Are you okay? I'll come back. Mo? Mo? <laughs> it's amazing what people would do to get on television. This is absolutely <laughs> hilarious, honestly. Oh, here you go, honey. Thank you. Good evening, Mom, Dad. Mm. Oh, you're home early. It's a weekday, Mom. I'm always home early on weekdays. Well, you haven't been home this early on a Friday night. Right, Tony? Oh, yes, she probably doesn't have a date this evening. Right, dear? Yes, Dad. I don't have a date. And I won't be having any dates for a little while. I've had a long day, I'm tired, and I just want to go to bed. Oh, come on. You can't conclusively say that. You never know when love happens. Mom. Look, we're having the Lagodas over for lunch on Sunday after church. Yeah. Please cancel any appointments that you might have. Why should I do that? Saturdays and Sundays are my busiest days, and you know that. Well, I know that, honey, but there are guests, and I'm trying to accommodate them. Do I really have to be there? I'm sure you old folks can have fun without me. Of course you have to be there, silly. Do they say something? All right, calm down, love. Um, Mo, do you have any events on that day? No, but... Good. I, I should have been told way before now. What if I did have an event? Well, you don't. So that settles that, yeah? Good. Your mom is happy. And you happy. No, Dad. I'm roped in. Thanks a lot. Oh, honey. My pleasure. You look beautiful. Really? <laughs> She's so like you. Moduroti, why on earth aren't you dressed? I thought I told you the Lagodas are coming over for dinner today. Okay, Mom. I'll throw something on and I'll be down in a few minutes. Well, don't just throw anything on. I want you to look spectacular. 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 For lunch with the Lagudas. Well, just look nice. And come down in five minutes. Mary's already set in the table. Okay. Look nice. Okay, Mom. Nice. <sighs> Spectacular lunch with the Lagudas. Oh, I need to get out of here. <laughs> Good evening, darling. How are you? I'm well, thank you very much. you graduated with honors in the master's program. That's quite impressive. <laughs> Mom, so tell me which mother would not be so proud to brag about our only son. <laughs> well, yes, it is true. <laughs> you see, excellence runs in my lineage. Mm. Mm. Why should it be yours and not mine? Don't forget, he's as much as my son, as much as he's yours. Oh, well, he doesn't bear your name. He bears mine. <laughs> <laughs> but that is so true. Yes. So true. <laughs> so, Dare, more the reason why you should stay back and run my company. <laughs> ah, Dad, I already told you. Mm. I've made arrangements with investors in the UK for mm -hmm. my project. I know, I know. And that's right, which I don't think it's a good idea. Why can't you stay and run my company? <laughs> 
Because you're already running in debt. You see, that's the problem with children of nowadays, huh? No, even the lonely. He should have a mind of his own. And Mr. That's true. Mo's gonna drop your name and then take on her husband's name. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true, and she would make a very lovely wife. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you were a skinny, tall teenager back then. Very funny. I don't remember you being tall, dark, and handsome yourself. Yeah. You <laughs> drew No, it's okay. So I'm sure she feels differently now. Oh, yes. Oh. She would make a very lovely wife. Yes, she would. <laughs> and, oh, uh, my mom was right. You did fill out quite nicely. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> well, hey. I, heard, I thought you guys were going to go talk some business over drinks. Uh, but you, true. you said you wanted to discuss a business proposal. Really? Um, oh, yes. What business proposal? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now let me show you the fabrics. Oh, OK. So you guys uh. enjoy yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> What are these two women up to? Seems like they're trying to matchmake us when we have already... Shh. I never knew we were an item back then. And they're probably somewhere spying on us as well. <sighs> so, when did you get back? Uh, a few days ago. I uh, came in for an important event. Right. And you didn't think to tell me you were going to be here today? I thought it might be nice to surprise you. Really? Really? Why aren't you surprised? <laughs> so, what have you been up to lately? Last I heard you were out of the country for school. When did you get back? That was four years ago, actually. Oh, and then? I went into events planning. Really? So, basically, you are the errand girl at a party? <laughs> wow. You really haven't changed, have you? You're still as arrogant as ever. Look, it might not be as glamorous as oil and gas, but I love it. Relax. I was just joking. Besides, you love the job. That's what matters, right? Yeah. So how about you and I go for a drink sometime? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to need from you is I need everything prepared properly. And I mean to the very last detail, because I told you the bride is my friend and she's very, very, very picky. Yes. OK. All right, uh, yes. I will transfer you the money by the end of today. And yeah, OK. All right, no problem, bye. What was that? The caterers, I was just discussing Jennifer's menu. OK, um, when is it again? Three months, well, two months and two weeks to be exact. So everything is OK? Yes. All right, OK. I About wanted to say... Other... <sighs> I wanted to apologize for the way I spoke to you the other day. I was upset, yes, but... I had no right, and it's none of my business. True. It was none of your business. And yes, you absolutely had no right. But even though I am your boss, I consider you a friend. That's why I'm going to tell you why I chase every available thing in skirt that I see. Why? Simply because you're married to this beautiful woman. You love her, she loves you. Doesn't mean everything will be perfect. Because Mo, it never is. There are no fairy tale marriages, just weddings. I know there are no fairy tale marriages, but there are good, they're great marriages. My parents, they have a great marriage. Like, they love each other so much. That makes me jealous. And I can only hope and 
wish that I have that someday. You see, life, life is a vicious circle. Those that are married, one out. Those that are not, want in. Are you saying you want to leave your wife? Can't say it doesn't cross my mind sometimes. Why? Because she... She's boring. Oh, no, no, don't get me wrong now, okay? I mean, <laughs> she's beautiful, she's homely, she's... And, and some guys probably like that. But me, I don't want more, okay? I want more excitement. I want more adventure. I want someone who's spontaneous, someone who, who keep me wondering what next step she's going to do. And have you discussed this with her? Not really. Tell her. Tell her what you want. And if she doesn't get it, show her. Just don't stop. Just make sure she gets it. You just need to stop. You need to stop this philandering or whatever. There's, there's no justification for adultery. And aren't you even scared? They're like STDs out there. You could get an STD and worse still go home and give her one. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Since you've so earnestly convinced me, I'll think about it. I'll work on it. Okay. So, can I fire Bing Bing? <laughs> she, she's incompetent. Hmm. Nice. Hello. Hi. My name is Dari. What is your name? I'm Chica. Hi, Chica. I really like your wristwatch. Very nice. Great taste. <laughs> Thank you. How may I help you, please? I'm here to see Mo, Mo Dorothy Bankley Smith. Can you point me in the direction of her office? Any appointment, please? No. No, I don't have an appointment. But you're a woman. You like surprises, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a real surprise visit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just worried about my job. I'm not sure. Chica, if you she have nothing to worry about. I'm an old friend, and I guarantee you, you will not be in any sort of trouble. Oh, yes, she will. But you don't know what I want her to do. I don't need to know. Coming from you, it's trouble. Like her shoes, she should get some lubes. Why are you here? Won't you ask me to sit down? I didn't invite you. Yet, here I am. How exactly did you find out where my office is? Well, let's just say that your mom was a willing ER informant. Mm. So, what do you want? I was curious to see what your office looked like. Not bad. Seriously? I know you're not that jobless that you came here just to see what my office looks like. Yeah, I admit I have a lot of free time on my hands, but that doesn't mean that I'm jobless. I'm a man on a mission. Which is? Get you to have that drink with me. <laughs> I already told you. The answer is no. Why? I'm scared you'll not be able to resist my charm and then fall hopelessly in love with me. It won't be the first time. We were teenagers. I would hardly call that love. Okay. It was just hormones, infatuation, just the crush. Anything but love? Yes. Fine. Call it what you like. Think about that drink. See you soon. Ellie? Well, I was supposed to be meeting Jennifer for work, but she got bored and said she wanted to go out. And, and since we were supposed to be meeting here, I just figured we'd all just come and, you know. Wait, wait hang on, hang on, hang on. You mean, uh, you mean Jennifer's here? Yeah, she's in the ladies. Come on, man, we're supposed to meet here alone. I know, I'm sorry. I don't know how Jennifer is. I thought we were supposed to be meeting... 
alone. Yeah, I showed you. I said we should meet, but not alone. Just sit. Well, you still could have said there'd be three of us, not two. Well, actually, four. Jennifer's here, too. What? Jennifer. Oh, no, I can't stand that girl. I didn't know you were going to be here. Oh. Well, you've officially been punked. <laughs> it's not funny. It is funny. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what's not funny. It's you girls not talking. So you know what? We're all going to sit here and have you both settle it out over drinks. And besides, you're sharing the bill. Why? <laughs> well, consider it penance for keeping malice, yes? <laughs> Chief. <laughs> I'm sorry about the things I said. I just... I'm surprised you think so low of me. Shaju, I don't. I just want you to want more. You deserve more. You're beautiful and you deserve the world. Sorry. Yeah, I missed you. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Is this not Tobe? Wow. You look good. <laughs> well, thanks. Hi, Jennifer. I remember the last time I saw you. You were just, you know. <laughs> Well, thanks. Uh, you don't look bad yourself. <laughs> Obviously. And uh, congrats on the wedding. Aww, thank you. Maybe she does that to everybody. That's me she did the first time I saw her. Oh, wow, this is beautiful, yeah. <laughs> I know. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Honestly, if I wasn't already engaged, I'd probably consider taking you too. What is he, a toy? Trust me, he's not interested. Uh, should you, darling, I... Didn't even know you were there. Well, if you're losing your sight, you sh really should book an appointment with an optometrist. Should you? Blind fact. Right. Blind indeed. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Yeah, so I, I hear your groom is coming to town. If he exists. Actually, he'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, and I can't wait to see oh, him. Did I you really invite this? I've missed him so much. <laughs> It's beautiful. <laughs> You're going to look so beautiful in your wedding dress. <laughs> I cannot wait. Walking down the aisle, everybody's eyes on me. <laughs> I can imagine. Every girl's fantasy. Yeah, well. I can't believe you're getting married. I'm going to look amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, traffic was crazy. Oh, that's okay. Oh, Mo, I want you to meet Ike, the love of my life and my husband to be. Nice to finally put a face to the name. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Now, the way Jennifer has been talking about you, I feel like I've known you for ages. Really? Mm -hmm. Jennifer, talk about someone else but herself. <coughs> That's <coughs> a new one. <coughs> <laughs> and where's your best man? I assumed the both of you would come together just to get your measurements taken. Oh, yeah, he'll be here soon. I'm sure he's caught up in traffic. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, there oh. he is. Hi, Dare. Jennifer, <laughs> wow, Glad you could make it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know Mo, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> she's actually the event planner for the wedding, and she's been hounding me for days to set up this meeting. <laughs> Man, I remember Mo very well, actually. <laughs> small world. Too small, if you very ask me. Very small. Jennifer, uh, can I have a word with you? Just quickly. <laughs> I'll just be with her two minutes. Oh, just, you'll get her back in two minutes, I promise. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> have you lost your mind? At what point were you planning on telling me that Dari Laguja is your husband's best man? Are you going to say you've forgotten that we had history? I didn't think it was necessary. Besides, 
You and Dari broke up a hundred years ago. So? So this is my wedding. Stop making it about you. Seriously, this is me making this about me. Are you actually being oh serious right now? Oh my goodness, this is exactly why I didn't tell you. I need Mo, the calculated organized events planner. Not some love-struck, whiny teenager. Listen. No, listen. Get a grip, yes? Otherwise, you are about to lose your job. Be wise. So, what was that about? Nothing. <laughs> Look. I was just as shocked as you were, you know, seeing you here. But you don't see me grabbing people and pushing them into corners. Do you mind? I'm not in the mood. I, I don't understand why you're so upset. She could have told me. And then what? You know, packed your bags and moved out of town. She didn't deal with it. Thanks a lot. Hello? So did you get my message? Yes. And I'm going to have Chica's head for giving you my key. Chica did not give me the key. She just made sure I was delivered to the right office. So, would you go out on a date with me? I'll think about it. No, I'm not very good at begging. Don't make me. Okay. Yes. So I'll pick you up at... 8 p.m. Friday, fine. Okay, fine, bye. So? Get back to work. Get back to work. I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just heading home now. It's been a long day. You know, listen, I just want to take a shower and then I'll join oh, you later. Oh, is today the last Friday of the month? Oh, come on, look at you, man. I'm sure you didn't. You haven't spoken with Shedu all day. That's what I reminded you. I actually haven't spoken to her today and I can't even make it. Why? What's going on? Um, I have a date. Yeah, a date? Well, I thought you said you were done with that whole dating crap out there. Uh, dude. Wait, have you been watching my vlogs? Yes, I have. What date are you going out to go on again? Oh, are you serious? Wow, I didn't expect that. It's been a shot. Wait, Toby, I have to call you later. My date's calling me. All right, I'll speak to you later. Bye! Moch. Hello? Hi. Yeah. All right, yeah, sure. OK. I'll be waiting, yeah. OK, then. See you soon. Bye. Hello? Shed you? Yeah, please, please. Hang on, hang on. Please, tell me you didn't know more how to date tonight. You, you, you did? Shedju, you did? Good night, Shedju. What the hell is wrong with you, Tobe? Oh, well, good evening to you, too. Oh, please, I don't have time for any of your sarcastic crap right now. Why won't you just tell Mo exactly how you feel about her instead of taking out your frustration on us innocent bystanders? Shadju, what in heaven's name are you talking about? Don't do that. You know what I'm talking about. The whole universe knows exactly what I'm talking about. Except for Mo, who you won't tell how you feel about her. I don't understand. Well, it's not that simple. 
But it is that simple. You just sit your friend down, you tell her how you feel, and you save her from this dating madness she's subjecting herself to. Oh, well, thanks to you. I had nothing to do with it. She started it. Well, you helped. <sighs> Look, just tell her. Look, Shedju, I've been telling Mo the same thing for the past months now, but she never ever takes me seriously. Why should she take you seriously when you don't sound convincing enough? I mean, how convincing am I supposed to be? Huh? Give my life in exchange for hers as a ransom? Uh, yeah, if that's what it takes. What exactly are you afraid of? Shedju Moore and I have come a long way. I'm afraid things will change if... If we got together. For goodness sakes, Toby, that's the whole point. Things aren't supposed to remain the same. You're supposed to go from being friends to being lovers, and then eventually the earth will go back to revolving around the sun again. Look, I don't care how you do it. You can put in a song, do something, just man up and tell her how you feel. So, are you telling me that you actually hired out this whole restaurant just to take me to dinner? Yes, why does that surprise you? It's quite a lot, just to try and impress me. So are you impressed? Maybe. <sighs> Maybe. I'm just wondering how many other ladies you've done the same thing for. For all I know, you could have taken two ladies out this week. If then the same treatment made them feel special. This is about Sandra. <sighs> yeah, this is about Sandra. Mo, haven't you forgiven me? Oh, I have forgiven. I just haven't forgotten. Mo, oh, really, we were teenagers. These things happen. Not like I'm making an excuse for it, but it wasn't like you were giving it up and hormones were raging. Do you know what? Let's just stop there. Because this apology is even worse than the original one. So we'll just stop there before you do any deeper. All right, fine. <clears throat> Let's just start afresh. I'm sorry. will be ordering the most expensive thing on the menu. I'll be having lobster tonight. Please order for two. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I don't even really? think I'm trying to justify that. Cause, yeah. I was highly offended. Because I was so rude. And you could have bought that's a champagne. I don't drink just, you know, fruit. I drink rosé at Just to let you know for next time. Well, the second day will be better. If Guaranteed. I agree to go on one with you. <clears throat> but yes, um, I had a great night. That means my charm still works. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> so? So I will call you. Hey. Good night. Good night. Good night.
that the date went well? Mom. Dad. Yeah. Seriously, you two need to stop babysitting me. No, actually, it's, it's your mother. She insisted we wait up for you. It was curious. We were both curious. So? So what? How did it go? It was fine. What? You were humming. So? Then it has to be better than fine. Good night, Dad. Good night, Mom. Mm -hmm. I think it went well. I think so. <laughs> Hi, guys. I know it's been a while and a lot has happened. I would like to introduce you to the new Mo. The happy Mo. The love struck Mo. Yes, I met a guy. Well, he's an old friend, but he's a whole new man and he's thoughtful and charming and. <laughs> and he has a very big ego, so I hope he doesn't see this. But yes, I think I'm in love. to think you dropped off the face of the planet, man. You know I've been busy planning Jenny's wedding, but I, I actually pinged you. Yeah, you said you were going to call back, but you never did. I'm sorry. Look, everything has been so crazy. Like, she calls me every five minutes to get updates now that the wedding is just three weeks away. Like, I can't wait for it to be over, so I can't get back. We need to talk. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, 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 sure. Everything's fine. It's just, uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, everything's fine. It's just, uh, I have a few important things I need to discuss with you. Uh, I was wondering, uh, uh, are you free? Can you, can you come over? Well, I was going to take a nap before Jennifer bombards my phone with calls again, but okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, yeah? Oh, cool, I'll be expecting you then. Okay, but wait, wait, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, well, I'm fine. But just get here. All right, then. Okay. All right, bye. Tobina, man, how do you tell her this, man? Huh. Listen here, Mo. It's me. It's me, Tobina. I'm your guy. I've been trying to reach out to you for months now, but you hardly ever take notice. If you don't know me by now, you will never ever ever know me in a lie <laughs> man that doesn't even sound convincing enough man I mean how do you tell a woman you love her Mo This is ridiculous. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Hello, handsome. <laughs> you finally admit. Please, don't let your head swell. It's a statement of fact, honey. Just happy that you finally see the light. <laughs> hmm? I want you to come over to my place. 
when? Because I'm actually on my way out now. Oh, uh, where? I'm going to see a friend. Why? What's up? Uh, I thought you were supposed to be resting. And she's saying you're stressed. What can I do? When a friend needs you, you have to answer, right? Okay. So since you're running errands for friends, do you think you could possibly stop by my place first? Why? It's a surprise. Hmm? A surprise? Yes, and you need to get here fast. What? <laughs> the surprise has an expiration time on it? <sighs> Something like that. What kind of a surprise is that? Oh, if I told you, it won't be a surprise now, would it? Just ask no more questions and get here quickly. <laughs> okay, but I have to leave early to go and see my friend. Okay, cool. You at least kiss me first. Will you tell me what's going on? Why are you outside? Uh, well, I told you you had to hurry. And I got here as soon as I could. Okay, get in the car. For what? It's a surprise. Uh, what's, what's the surprise? Are we really going to do this now? Well, I'm not getting into a car if I don't know where I'm going. Fine. <laughs> Wait a minute. You've been complaining that you're stressed, so I decided to take you to SA for a few days. What? <laughs> I can't. I can't just up and leave. Yes, you can. Get in the car. I can't. Jennifer's wedding is in, like, two weeks. And you have everything figured out. Or what if something goes wrong and she can't reach me? Oh, you're only gone for the weekend. And if she needs to get you, she can talk to your boss directly. They both agreed. What? Wait, 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 wait. How did you do that? Let's just say that um, I have my way with people. They can't resist my charms. <laughs> oh, wait, my friend's called me. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. I have. No. Get in the car. <laughs> I don't have any luggage. Don't worry about that. I have a MasterCard. It's all the luggage that you need. How did you even get my passport? My mom. And she was more than willing. Mm. <laughs> Can we go now? You know you're bossy. Yes. And arrogant. That too, but you still love me that way. Can we go now? Whatever. How could you say unavailable? It just rang off right now. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Will you at least calm down and sit down? You're making me nervous. And I'm just wondering what's taking so long. Look, I told you already, there's nothing wrong with Mo. How do you know that? She was supposed to show up at my place. She never did. I've been trying to reach her on the phone. Yes, She's not pick yes, yes, you told me. Shadju, I don't even understand how you can be so calm through all of this, eh? Maybe it's because I'm not the one who's in love with Mo. Besides, if there was anything wrong with her, you'd have heard them mourning from the gates. Then where the hell is she? Mm. Shadu. 
Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Oh. Tobey, Sheju. It's been a long time I've seen you both. How are you? We're fine, ma'am. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, ma'am, is, is, is Mo okay? Well, he... We wanted to... We, we tried to call her and we can get through, so we wanted to make sure she's okay. Oh, well, of course she's okay. She's in South Africa having fun with Dare. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she didn't tell you to? Mm. Oh. Well, he decided to surprise her with a trip. It was the most romantic thing. Uh, uh, Ma'am, ma sorry, uh, you, you don't mind I get something from the car? Oh, sure. What time is she getting back, Ma? This evening or tomorrow morning. Okay, Ma, could you please tell her that we stop by? She'll give us a call when she gets in. Sure, okay. I will. Thank it's you. It's Tobe, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Ma. You're welcome, honey. No, I can't. Look, I'm swamped with work because of you, so I won't be seeing you anytime soon. <laughs> Listen, don't worry. You will survive, okay? Look, I have to go. <laughs> You're so naughty. All right, okay, I have to go, seriously. Okay. All right, then. Bye. Bye. That's Dari, I take it? Yes. And I can't believe it. Do you know what? It feels like a dream. Apparently. Where's Toby? I thought he was meeting us here. What? Seriously? Did you think he'd show after the stunt you pulled? What stunt? Really? What are you talking about? There's only so much a man can take, Mo. What are you talking about, Sheju? <laughs> are you seriously asking me that? Yes. What are you talking about? What's all this drama? Have you called Toby since you got back? No, I've been busy. With Dari? No, actually, with work. Now are you going to tell me what's going on? You were supposed to meet Tobey at his house. Remember that? Huh? And then you just disappeared. No phone call, no text, nothing. The guy was worried out of his mind. Yeah, but I didn't plan it. Dari just came to my house. It was so unexpected. Was I going to say no? What? I'm just surprised about you and Dari. You were dead set against dating him in the first place. And then you changed your mind and I thought, okay, no harm can come of this because you've dated before. But now things are moving so fast. Don't you think they're moving really fast? Slow down. <laughs> Slow down for what? Listen, I finally found a guy who's charming, handsome, and sweeps me off my feet. And the best part about it is I've known him for years. What am I slowing down for? No, well, there is a reason you broke up in the first place. Yes. Remember that? And back then, he was a young man with raging hormones. Now, he's a mature man. Okay, I'm really not trying to pick a fight with you or criticize your decision. I'm just making an observation because I want you to be sure. I took your advice and I don't want you to settle for less either. I won't, trust me. It's fine. Yeah? Yes! Okay, but you still have to call Toby and apologize. Yeah, yeah, I'll call him. Fix it. I will, I will, I will. All right, tell me about your trip. Oh, my God. How'd it go? What amazing. <laughs> Hi. What's up? What's up with you? I'm fine. Yeah, I can see that. I was worried. You weren't picking up my calls, you weren't returning my calls. I'm sorry, I've just been uh, busy. You've been busy? Or too busy to call me back? Come on, Mo. There have been times when you couldn't take or return my calls, but I never made a fuss of it. The world doesn't have to revolve around you, you know that, yeah? What did I do? Clearly you're angry with me and I don't know why. I'm not angry with you. Yes, you are. Look, we've been friends for a long time, Toby. I know you. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't, Mo. What's going on? You're my best friend. 
Therein lies the problem, Mom. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Tell me, Mom, why are you here? <laughs> I came here because I missed you and I wanted to see you, but apparently, do you know what? <laughs> Forget it. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Mo. I'm sorry. Why? Why am I sorry? No. Why are you angry? I'm not angry with you, Mo. It's just... It's just that you keep taking me for granted and I'm sick and tired of it already. I don't. See, you don't even know it, but you do. Well, I'm sorry. There. I, I That's exactly didn't mean what to. I don't want you to do. Be sorry. I want you to change, Mo. I want you to. I want you to stop seeing me as. A, as. A... I think the point I'm trying to make here, Mo, is. I want you to start seeing me. I see you, Toby. No, you don't. I'm such a part of your life, I've melted into the background already. Listen, I don't know about any of this melting into the background, but it's because you are a part of my life. That's what makes you special. I can tell you absolutely any anything. It's not everyone I can do that with, so I don't understand what you're talking. Don't pick it up. Mo, you just got here. Don't pick it up. It's work. Hello? Right now? O okay. Okay, I'm coming. I have to go. Can we talk about this later? I'll call you. But that wasn't what we agreed. No, 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 no. You said the structure would be up by now. Listen, do you know what? I'm not even having this conversation over the phone anymore. Is your manager around? Is your manager around, yes or no? Okay, I'm going to come there now. I'm on my way over. I don't know, no, 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 no. I will see you in 20 minutes. Bye. Hello, Lanray? Yeah, so I was just speaking to the people. That, oh, they're just telling me stories, honestly. I don't know what their problem is. They said the overflow structure isn't up yet, and they can't do anything. All right. No, 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 no. I'm going there, I'm going there now. I'm going to see their manager, so it's fine. I'll sort it out. Yes, 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 all right. Okay, I'll see you soon, bye. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? I, oh, I, I have it with me now. I have his tux. But it's in my car. Nothing will happen to it. Okay, okay, if it makes you feel comfortable, I'll go and give it to him myself. Okay, I'll do that for you. I'll let you know when I've done it, okay? All right, bye. Hello? Barry? Uh -huh. The door was open. Barry? Barry? Hello?
our unprofessional behavior. I knocked, but nobody opened the door. Oh, look, I can explain. See, what you saw... It was none of my business. I came... I came to drop this off. I need you to get it to Mr. Ike. Bride says she needs it to get to him. Oh, look, that girl means nothing to me. It was purely physical, nothing more. What? It was just physical. It was nothing else. Oh, it was nothing, seriously. Mo. It was what? It was just physical. It was physical. It was purely physical. Look. Nothing more. Just you know it's you that I love. I can't say I haven't shown that enough. You know this. <laughs> oh. Come on. Bye, Mr. Barry. Whoa. shocked and the worst the worst part about it was that he didn't think it was bad because because he didn't have any feelings for her well maybe that's because people like Diary just believe it's okay to treat a woman anyhow and at the end of the day just shower her with gifts and think that's enough to make the pain go away I'm not that kind of woman I don't want a man to shower me with gifts no I want a man who will respect me, respect us. I want love. I want faithful love. I want true love. I want some. I want someone who truly gets you. Yes. Someone who genuinely cares about you. Who sees past your little faults. Someone who wants the best for you treats you as though you're the only woman in the whole world. Someone who would give his heart, his body, and his soul. And love you with everything that he has ever, ever, ever had. cheating on me with the worst thing in the world. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. 
What for? You didn't do anything. Well, I encouraged it. I mean, I just thought you guys would be good together. So did I. Look, you have to face the rest of the world. You can't keep hiding. Not hiding, Mom. You haven't been to work in three days. Now, I don't know you to miss work. I just need some time to sort some things out. Okay. Toby's downstairs waiting for you. I don't want to see him. This is the seventh time he's going to be here. Why are you avoiding him? I'm not. Not ready to see him yet. Well, you're going to have to be ready sometime, honey. You can't keep hiding. Mom? I don't want to see Toby. Oluwa ni Moduroti Bankoli Smith. Complicated. How complicated can it be? We kissed. Oh, honey, that's not complicated. That's interesting. Mom! What's so complicated about kissing him? He's my best friend. And it just felt unexpected and confusing and... and surprisingly good <laughs> and again I ask why is that so complicated Toby likes you oh, of course he's like me mom he's my best friend I don't mean it like that I mean he's always been in love with you what you didn't know no <laughs> oh gosh you had no idea Mom, are you saying you've known all this time and you didn't tell me? Because I thought you knew and you just didn't feel the same way. Look, sweetheart, with all that's happened, the question you need to ask yourself is, how do you really feel about him? That's... that's what I've been trying to figure out. You and Toby have been friends for so many years. I've watched the two of you over the years and I see the way he looks at you. How he cares for you. He adores you. And from everything that you've told me, there's obviously chemistry between the two of you. And if that isn't love, honey, I don't know what is. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> are you saying that this is it? This is what I've been looking for and it's just been right there? I think so. <laughs> now will you get dressed and come downstairs and see him I'll be down in five minutes <laughs> by the way what's Toby's last name Okoronkwa so you're going to go from Bankole Smith to Okoronkwa <laughs> <laughs> get ready honey Love weight. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, will you get on with it already? Mom, do you mind? Sorry. Just trying to help. I think we should... <laughs> I was just gonna say I think we should sit. But what about the other day? I'm sorry I kissed you. You're sorry? Well, yeah, because uh, I reckon I kind of made you feel uncomfortable. I mean, you're my homie. Things don't have to be awkward between us. <laughs> Things don't have to be awkward between us. Exactly. <laughs> so why don't we just pretend that kiss never happened? And just roll over and get back to the way things were. Okay. Okay. I... I kind of liked it. And I thought you did too. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I, I did. I... I do. I, I like the kiss. <laughs> so... So?
You can spend all your time chasing your own tail and looking for love in all the wrong places when all that you've ever wanted, ever longed for, ever hoped for is right here beside you. It's one week after Jennifer's wedding and thank God that it's over. The nightmare of having to look Dare in his arrogant, cheating face one more time is gone. And at least one good thing came out of it. Shed you met someone. I'm so surprised. 